right guys welcome back to another m creator tutorial so today what i'm going to be showing you is how repeater blocks uh basically work i'm going to do my best to explain how they work and hopefully by the end of the episode you'll be able to walk away with something uh so first thing that we need to do is we need to set a procedure now loops uh which we'll be covering right now uh both of these are loops while loop and the repeater loop and there's also a green block below which we can uh, end the loop um, before it needs to end. So there's a few different blocks, mainly these three green ones right around here. Uh, we're going to work on the repeat loop as this is probably the easiest one for you to kind of understand how the loops start to work. Uh, this block right here can basically end the loop at any point. So basically it will cancel out any leftover repeating uh, segments. So you want a number block in the repeat part. You can also use a variable if you want. And then what you're going to need to do is create a procedure, something to happen inside this block here. So in this case, I'm going to make sure that the block um, here is going to be removing five blocks below where I right click. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the variable to Y and then I'm going to make sure that the uh, position of Y is, for the break location is up to date. And then I'm going to subtract that value by one. So basically this will just create a uh, one block, five blocks down because we're repeating this process five times. We're subtracting by one each time. And I just want to make sure that the uh, player uh, gets the items and it doesn't fall into the hole so I'm going to tell it to drop at the player's location. So let's go ahead and save this and then we'll basically go into the game and test this out. Alright so in game I'm just going to change my game mode to survival just so you guys can see what it would be like in survival and we're just going to right click on it and we get all the blocks and it digs five blocks down. It's a little hard to see how many blocks it did mine but we're right clicking on it. Uh, we can probably count see those last two sandstone blocks so if we right click a few more times you might be able to see that it is five blocks down so we'll mine this out a little bit and then we'll try to go down there and um, it's going to be a little bit difficult because two three four five so yeah there's five blocks if we whoop <laughs> just uh went ten blocks under good thing there wasn't a click a uh, cave all right so you can see that there's five blocks in total that we uh, have mined up so that's basic a very basic rundown of the repeater system uh, but you know I could end the episode here but there's a few other things that I can show you with this particular block um, mainly we're going to remove all this and we're going to set uh, something else of a procedure uh, there is a system that I constantly use in my uh, scripts uh, sometimes I need to test for a certain area around or maybe you need to fill an area or with certain blocks or maybe you want particles to spawn in a certain area so uh, what you can do with this is you can basically use repeat blocks um, pretty efficiently uh, with this particular system we're going to need to assign three variables actually four because we need a logic variable to know when we can have to cancel out of this loop unless you don't want to cancel out of it and then you can go ahead and not worry about that. So we're going to need three repeaters and then we're going to need to set our size of the area that we're going to test. The next thing that we need to do is basically on the outside of this we need to set our default values for the offset. So basically the offset will allow us to uh, tell the, the, the coordinates where it needs to start at the axis point and we're going to subtract all these values by two. So basically wherever we basically um, run this command it's going to offset the position by two and then it's going to go ahead and run the repeaters and increase each time so as I'm filling this out I'll try to explain the best that I can so we're going to start by placing a the y uh, local variable and then we're going to increase or increase y by one so we want to do this for each coordinate we're going to do that for x and z as well and once we do that we need to make sure that it increases the value by one and then every other block we're going to basically go ahead and reset the values on the exterior 
Next, what we need to do is basically test for that logic variable. If you want to cancel it out, if it finds a specific block or a location, then you're going to want to break out of that loop. And lastly, what we want to do is we want to test for our condition. In this case, I'm going to be testing if there is a diamond block at the set location. Any coordinates that you use in this particular repeater, you're going to need to use your variable uh, coordinates in order for it to update. So we're going to test for that diamond block there and then what I want to do is basically return uh, or set this variable to true. Now by default it'll be false so we don't need to set the variable to false but we do need to break the loop once we after we set the variable. Once we've done that we need to make sure that all the uh, increments are after the particular part. Now I almost forgot something important we actually need something to happen here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is we're going to use that logic variable and we're going to make sure that it prints out a message to the player. Uh, we're just going to create something really quickly and we're going to um, tell us the coordinates of the block and we're going to just space that out a little bit and then we're going to place our coordinates inside this particular uh, location here. So we're going to put that on the action bar. Uh, we can also put it on the um, chat if we want to. And for the one that uh, basically does not um, find a block, we're just going to use an else statement. So in game, uh, we can go ahead and anywhere in this uh, red square, we can basically test for the block and it will find it. But anywhere outside of it, uh, we won't be able to find the block. So basically, no block is found, but as soon as we stand on this carpet, we can see that it prints out the coordinates of the block, so we can find the block that way. One thing to note with uh, repeat blocks and other loop blocks is they run in one single tick, all the all the script in one single tick. So uh, large scripts will actually lag the in lag the the game and impact uh, performance quite heavily. So it's advised to basically only run it on things that only run once, uh, for example, like a right click event or something that doesn't require something that has a tick update. So this could be a, anything that's a single update. But outside of that, that's basically it. Uh, there isn't uh, much more to show. There's um, basically we're testing all these different locations and stuff like that but uh, if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out